The 400 meter hurdles finals that took place this afternoon, Kenya failed to get a medal in that race where uh, Aaron Kipchumba Koech and uh, Nicholas Beth had to uh, settle for fifth and uh, seventh, respectively. Let's take a look. It's the kind of lineup that makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand to attention. And Jaheel Hyde has gone out very, very quickly from lane three. It's a steadier start from Kyron McMaster. Nicholas Bett, the former world champion, third from the left hand side as you look at it there. He's gone out well. Still no move yet from McMaster, who is now just beginning to try and come into his running. Has Jaheel Hyde gone out too hard, too early? Now McMaster coming through the middle, back up onto the shoulder of Betch. It's the British Virgin Islander from the former world champion. And look at Jaheel Hyde on the inside. A battle royal from the two proud Caribbean nations. But this time, McMaster gets it right. He makes history for the British Virgin Islands. A wonderful performance tonight. Kyron was the master. 48.25. It was very, very close in the shake-up. Of course, that was the 400-meter hurdles finals Eve that took place this afternoon in Gold Coast, Australia, where Kenya's Aaron Koech and uh, Nicholas Beth had to finish, uh, finish rather fifth and seventh, respectively. But now let's move away from the 400 meters and move into the 800 meter heats that took place this morning, which were also the semifinals. And Margaret Nyerera won a hit in two minutes, 0 0.60 seconds. And let's take a look at the highlights. It is about to heat up. We've been bunched for the first 400 meters. It's gonna now end up being one big long line who will make the first move as they approach the 500 meter mark? It is Ghoul who leads from Jamaica. The big tall figure though of Wambui beginning to make her move. Looking to stride around the outside, but we see a great challenge coming from the Ugandan at the moment. Wambui though, looks to try and get into her work with 150 metres to run. Oskin Clark of England. Ghoul now beginning to make her move. The Jamaican Ghoul. But here comes Wambui. Times her run perfectly. Wambui will cross the line in first. It'll be Ghoul in second. It'll be a nervous wait for Shalena Oskin Clark of England, who crossed the line in third place, two minutes, point six. Well, behind Margaret Wambui, there was a lot going on in that race. Of course, the other 800 meter semi-final saw Emily Cherotic win in a time of two minutes, 0 0.58 seconds to also qualify for the finals. Here are the highlights. We could potentially see a couple of fastest losers coming from this one. Tui leads at the moment. Nanyondo still there. So too Lindsay Sharp. Griffith trying to come through on the inside. And Adele Tracy on the outside. This is a little more open than the other two semi-finals we've seen. Tui is striking for it here, but she's got four just behind him. Yeah, Griffith of Australia looking good. Form is good. Now we start to see the big charge coming from the outside, though. Down the outside. What a late charge this is. And Lindsay Sharp just clipped a heel of the Ugandan there. This is a brilliant race. Brooks has seemingly come from nowhere. Nanyondo just takes over the lead once again. Tui in second. Lindsay Sharp trying to close. The crowd are roaring Griffith on. She needs to finish in the top two. It's a great effort. She's just going to finish in third. She might just miss out on a fastest loser spot. Tui and Nanyondo. Of course, Cherotic and Nyerera will be in the finals of the 800 meters. That is for the ladies. So we have not gotten any gold yet. So let's take a look at how the medal tally stands so far in the Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast, Australia. Of course, the host country, which is Australia, has 148 medals in total so far. And out of the 148, 60 are gold medals. Coming in at number two is England with a total of 80 medals and 26 of those are gold medals. India comes in at number three with a total of 29, gold, uh, 29 medals in total. Uh, 
total, 14 of which are gold medals. Canada at number four and New Zealand at number five with a total of 31 medals. At number six, we flip over and look at the other five countries that are making the top ten. At number six is South Africa, which is also the first African country on the medal table, which has a 30 medals in total and 10 of which are gold medals. Scotland comes in at number 7 with a total of 35 medals, 7 of which are gold medals. At number 8 is Wales, number 9 is Cyprus, at number 10 Jamaica with a total of 13 and 4 of which are gold medals. Now Kenya comes in at number 23 with six medals. Out of the six medals, three are bronze and three are uh, silver medals. So that is how Kenya has fared on so far in the Commonwealth Games. But tomorrow, rather not tomorrow, this afternoon, Kenya might get its, its first gold medal. So who are in action for Kenya this afternoon and who do we expect to be in action tomorrow? Let's take a look. This afternoon in the 800 meter men's final, we have Wycliffe Kinyamal and Jonathan Kitilit. Remember the two won in their respective semifinals two days ago in Gold Coast and now they will be in the final this afternoon at 10 minutes past three. So probably we might be getting the first gold medal for Kenya here. Let's take a look at what or who rather will be in action tomorrow for Team Kenya in different uh, fields. Now, in Javelin, we'll be having Julius Yego and Alex Kiprotich. Remember, Julius Yego is a defending champion in the Commonwealth Games. Javelin, you will be in action tomorrow. Now, the 4x100 meter relay and the 4x400 meter relay will be having Team Kenya in action in the heats that will take place tomorrow morning at around 3 a.m. in the morning. We move again and see other Kenyans that will be in action when it comes to the Commonwealth game, the men's 1500 meter semifinals. Timothy Cheriot will be in action. Kumari Taki will be in action. And uh, the world champion, Elijah Manangoi, will also be in action in the 1500 meter semifinals. Uh, that will be tomorrow. Now, the 3,000 meter steeplechase final will also be held tomorrow. Conceslas Kipruto, who is the, who's the Olympic champion and also the world champion, will be leading Emos Kirui and Abram Kibiwot in the search for gold medal in the 3,000 meter steeplechase finals, which will be tomorrow. Remember, in the uh, women's uh, steeplechase, Kenya had to settle for silver after Aisha Prot from uh, Jamaica won gold. So these are the men that will be in action uh, tomorrow for Kenya in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. We move on to the 10,000 and meter finals and we'll be having Jonathan Mui and Diku who in the previous edition took part in the steeple chase but this time he is taking part in the 10,000 meter finals we have just fat bet keep coach and uh, Rogers Kwemoi they will be in action in the 10,000 meters and they will be in action so these are the Kenyans that will be in action tomorrow but when you talk about the team sports Rugby Sevens begins tomorrow, and Kenya will be in action in Rugby Sevens tomorrow. So probably if we take a look at uh, Kenya's matches tomorrow, and the, this will be uh, Lionesses, they will be in action tomorrow. Kenya's first game will be against uh, the New Zealand, uh, New Zealand rather, and then the uh, second game for the Lionesses will be against uh, Canada. The, Tomorrow, rather, which is Friday, we'll be having only the women take part in uh, sevens, uh, in rugby sevens, rather. Then on Saturday, we'll be having the men take part in uh, rugby sevens. So these are the teams that we expect in action tomorrow in uh, different fields in Gold Coast Australia in the Commonwealth Games. So one man has been in uh, Australia, but he's not taking is not rather taking part in the action and who am I talking about? Usain Bolt he's a global star when it comes to athletics but this time he's not taking part in the games but he expects Jamaica to still rise up and be counted as one of the biggest teams when it comes to athletics in the Commonwealth Games and this is what he had to say <laughs> 